everybody welcome back to a new video for today's video i am going to be showing you guys how to create this really cute makeup look that i created this is inspired by the movie finding nemo dory um especially because it's the type of colors that dory is and i just thought it was really cute and i got bored so i decided oh, why not just create this type of look and honestly i'm so amazed on how it turned out playing with really really big bold dark colors is really difficult i find it hard to like to work with especially with blending but luckily i did a pretty good job on you know doing this eye look so i really hope you guys enjoy enjoy doing it as well as much as i did um this is why i decided to do a video on it to show you guys how to create it as well don't forget to be subscribed to my channel if you guys are new and if you guys have not subscribed make sure you subscribe not right now and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so well, let's just get right into the video yeah don't mind how messy my background of my room is i don't think it really matters okay guys so now that i finished priming my eyelids start off we are obviously going to be using the james charles palette and we're gonna take that light baby blue shade and we're gonna tap out the excess um when it comes up to blending in my crease i do like taking like the flat side and putting a little bit of powder on there and tapping out the excess start to like pack this on um on the outer corner and then work my way through my eye crease Okay, so then after I'm going to go ahead and lightly start blending and to get like right here in the little inner corner of my eye, I do like to kind of like stretch my eye from the outer corner a little bit to get in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and start lightly like blending and doing little swiper motions back and forth and i'm also gonna lightly like pull my eye a little bit like just a little bit and just like start blending out and kind of like bringing it up a little bit to my brow bone just like this one as you guys can see i brought it up to my brow bone a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here i don't know what type of brush this is i remember ordering these off um wish i believe like a long time ago so i don't really have a link to this but basically this is just a brush that looks like this it doesn't even have a number at least but this is very very similar to another brush that i'm going to be showing you guys in a minute i'm going to use is this one right here which is right next to the shade we just used and that shade is called brother i'm going to take this one and we're just going to go ahead and start packing this in our crease like now we're just going to focus this inside our crease and again you could do the same process with the same blue just not bringing it up to the brow bone only like staying inside i just need a little bit of water guys i've been drinking like water throughout these days and i lost like four pounds and it's crazy because i didn't actually know it would actually do that as long as you eat healthy and drink water and and by eating healthy i don't mean like eating salads eating this and that because salads is not really gonna help you it, it once in a while but like just eat normal food and make sure your calories are not that high you know what i mean anyways this is an all health talking session so now we are gonna go ahead and cut our crease and this is where we're gonna do this part of our eye so i'm taking a flat brush this one i use to carve my brows you guys already know this is the only brush i use to carve my brows to do cut creases to do whatever really when it starts when it comes up to doing my cut creases i'm not that good at doing my cut creases but when it does come up to doing it what i like to do is take my natural cut crease line on my eyes so i could already see it from here that there's like a little line from like when i open and close my eye so i'm gonna use that as a guideline i kind of like start like going and dragging the brush on there as you guys could see i already started off my little guidelines so i could know where i could go from there so i'm gonna go ahead and just time lapse this so i won't take up much time because i'm not really good at explaining myself while i'm doing my cut crease
then i go ahead and go on with the shimmer shade and again it's in the palette we are using this shimmer shade right here which is like the lightest shimmer shade and i'm applying it i kind of do like a little pressure so that the product could stay in so again i like to kind of like stretch my eye just a little bit and make sure all the product is on my eyelid take a really small detailing brush so in this case i'm taking this one right here and i'm taking some product and I'm gonna go in the lines and go in the little areas where I can't apply product with my finger. Now for the next step, we're gonna wanna Take a very, very smaller brush. In this case, I'm using this one right here, which is the BH Cosmetics number 7. I'll be taking this shade right here, which is like a darker violet blue shade. Begin to apply this on the outer corner, doing little tapping motions with the tip of the brush. Now we're going to go ahead and um, take our eyeliner, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is the professional makeup, but it looks like this. You could use any eyeliner, it doesn't really matter, but mine look like this. It's just like a little pen. You can shake it up and it's really good. For the yellow liner, obviously I'm using the NYX Vivid Bright Colors Eyeliner. This is in the shade yellow, obviously, but it is called Vivid Halo. And when I do my eyeliner, I like to take the corner, the outer corner of my eye and stretch it. And then we're going to... Just do the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do it in time lapses so you guys could just see because I really don't know how to explain it. Okay, I think I'm gonna just stop from here um, because, no, not not with the video, but like I'm saying the eyeliner because I don't want to like mess it up even more. So I think they kind of look similar to each other and I'm proud of that because usually they don't look the same. I'm gonna go in and apply my contacts. So, yeah. Good thing I didn't tear. This is how it looks. It's been a long time I haven't put my contacts on. The next one. If you guys are wondering where my contacts are from, I will link it down below. It's from the TTD website. They have like a million of different color contacts. Um, these ones, I believe, are in the shade uh, Polar Lights Brown or HD Brownness. I don't okay, so we got both of the contacts in and they look super good. Oh, these contacts really look good. Okay, so I cut up these lashes like a long time ago. These were in the name Brazier from Kiss. And they look like this. So they're like really small. And I usually use this when I do my eyeliner looks. And if since I do have an eyeliner look right now, I'm going to use these. And I'm using the Duo Glue. And just make sure that's like um, stick. mascara i'm using the Too faced better than 
you know what that word says but it looks like this and this is my favorite mascara ever like done putting the lashes we should have something that looks like this i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and prime my face using the elf poreless putty primer use this maybelline um 24 hour stay foundation in the shade 130 and then i'm using the l'oreal 24 hour natural pro glow in the number 204 in these shades together um, because that's what I usually like to do with my foundations to get the perfect match for Conceal my under eyes. I use the NYX concealer. Set my under eyes. I'm gonna use the Banana Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. contour i'm using the fit me poreless powder in the shade tofi looks like this has like a little mirror I'm gonna let this sit for like a minute or so or less and meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and finish my under eye the light blue and I'm taking a really small detailing brush excess because it has a lot of fallout I'm gonna take a powder brush and I'm just gonna go right under it and just make sure there's no excess powder we are almost done I'm gonna wipe the excess powder that's on that was sitting down for a while I'm just gonna go all over my face. I'm gonna take a different type of mascara for my under eyes, and this is the waterproof hip nose star um, from Lancome. I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite highlight brush for so for my brow bone highlight i like using this brush from morphe and jacqueline hill it's in the number 40 from her collection and then this one right here which is the 30 brush for like highlighting and stuff like that it's like a really big size and good for it my glow kit from anastasia looks like this and apply this on my brow bone I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm just going to apply some highlight.
last thing to do is to set and then we're going to apply lipstick. Beauty blender and then press the um, spray, setting spray in my skin to make sure it's set. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is the um, collection of Le the Let's Chocolate and 854. And I'm going to use this lipstick from BH Cosmetics in the shade Evelyn. It's a really light um, pinkish color. And I'm just going to apply this in the center. So, yeah, this is how the lipstick turned out. I honestly am impressed with this makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and everything and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my camera is going to die in like any minute. I really hope you guys enjoy this video on how I created this um, Dory Finding Nemo theme makeup look. The products I use will be linked down below in the description as well with all the brushes I use um, in this video. Um, the links down below. And the link to these contacts, if you guys want to know what contacts these are, like I said, it was the TDDI contacts. They have many, many different type of colored contacts. These specifically are linked down below for you guys. So don't forget to follow all my social media. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. It looks really, really cute. I love how it turned out. But I'll see you guys in one of my other videos. Ew, why did I just do that like Jeffree Star? Not ever.